Mr. Volker Turk, United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights. Excellencies, Heads of State, Ministers of Foreign Affairs. Dear friends, I would like to congratulate you on all the commitments presented at the Palais des Nations that stand behind the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. We celebrate your engagement that goes beyond commemorative speeches. These actions guarantee the most of our nation's respect of human rights, minimum standards, and principles for the next year, ensuring that individual actions strengthen the universal system. To fortify Costa Rica's adherence to international human rights law and to perpetuate our dedication to its defense, my country pledges to the following. One, we are deeply committed to the education and teaching of human rights, including implementing a law that mandates integrating the Universal Declaration of Human Rights proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly into our educational curriculum. Two, it brings me to great pleasure to announce our efforts to make the Universal Declaration of Human Rights accessible to all Costa Ricans, including translation into the indigenous languages of our country. As a testament to this commitment, the declaration is now available in the Bribri language of the Suretka region in Talamanca. On the other hand, Costa Rica advances to promote knowledge of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and to raise awareness throughout the country. Three, in the same spirit, Costa Rica is working hard in the promoting and protecting the rights of elderly population. Four, Costa Rica undertakes the obligation to provide comprehensive care to immigrants by strengthening its care and reception system under the principles established in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Five, Costa Rica undertakes the responsibility to provide comprehensive care to immigrants by enhancing our care and reception systems in alignment with the principles outlined in the Declaration of Human Rights. Costa Rica is also working to incorporate this right into other international instruments such as the Convention on Biological Diversity and the Plastic Pollution Treaty. Also, our country is working in the inclusion of a gender equality perspective in the national and international climate change agenda, including the implementation of the National Action Plan on Gender Equality in Climate Action. My country reaffirms it, its engagement to protect human rights. We face unprecedented global challenges and compel us to guarantee human rights-based policies that build confidence and social harmony. They deepen trust, they build hope. It's a moral imperative. Thank you so much.